Hello and welcome to a brand new synth soundset walkthrough. We're back with Zebra today, which is exciting because it's my favouritest synth of them all. And this soundset is called Zebra Quasar. Now there's 140 patches in here. And what we're looking at is basically um, some very electronic and synthy sounds, but with a cinematic feel. So uh, what this project was actually born out of was... Um, I've recently been working with a composer called Pedro Camacho, who is doing the soundtrack for a game called Star Citizen, which is this sort of epic um, space adventure game with some just amazing looking gameplay and worlds and ships and all sorts. And uh, so Pedro's been writing a lot of orchestral music for it, and he wanted some synth stuff to go alongside it to give it that sort of sci-fi modern feel. And so he called me up and got me involved. And what we've ended up doing is Pedro is a really big fan of classic analogue artists like Tangerine Dream and Van Gelis. Oh, look, there's Gary Oldman and Van Gelis. And uh, that is Gary Oldman, isn't it? And, uh, and what we wanted to do was bring, make, take those sounds but make them different, do them in a way that perhaps others aren't sort of using them at the moment. So we've... We ended up kind of looking a little bit of sort of techno and trance music uh, to get over. What are they doing? Weird. Um, <laughs> dancing. Let's let's come away from this. Let's go back to here. Doing uh, inspired sort of by some of the aesthetics of techno and trance to give it a modern uh, electronic feel, but to to always maintain that sort of classic analog sound and synthiness, um, and keep it cinematic and epic and sci-fi and what have you. Uh, so I'll play through some sounds and you can see whether that's what we came up with and then I've expanded on those sounds. There's 140 sounds in this in this sound set. Um, so it's a little bumper crop and uh, yeah, hopefully you like them. Well, let's, let's just play. I'll shut up. A nice gentle little soft arp there. sounds like they're atmospheric but also quite sort of um, energetic dynamic and uh, expressive and there is a sort of move well certainly there's been some Game soundtracks that I've really enjoyed recently that have a, a slightly more sort of electronic techno -y vibe to them. Uh, stuff like. Uh, Mirror's Edge Catalyst, uh, the new Mirror's Edge game. Uh, Solar Fields has done a really cracking soundtrack to that. The Division by Ola Strand. Uh, what was the one, oh, what was the one Petri Alanko did recently? Really enjoyed that. Um, oh, God. I can't remember. I genuinely can't remember what it's called. It's really, really very popular game. It was constantly appearing on my Twitter feed, <laughs> people praising it and stuff. And... Uh, Uh, so, as always, stuff on the mod wheel and also on these perform uh, XY crosshairs type doobries. It's 
So nice chunky basses to really get that sort of uh, techno vibe going. So you could technically use this for um, dance music if you wanted to. I mean, that's certainly not my sort of thing to say. I mean, I listen to a lot of dance music still. I was a dance music person before I was a cinematic person, but um, strange sentence. Um, but this isn't sort of, I'm not trying to be, there's certainly not an attempt to do cutting edge techno sounds here. It's, it's all about having that vibe in cinematic sounds. Really. Uh, so we've got a few drum sounds. Not making any sense of my <laughs> drum sounds. Um, a collection of sort of little hits, and also some bigger stuff like some kicks. Uh, just so you can do a little bit of programming yourself if you want to, if you feel so inclined. I'm going through these quite randomly. It's going to get complicated when I get to the the dark version. So I've got a few keys here, and they're basically trying to capture the sort of electric piano sounds that you got from analog synths, but also you know that that lovely sort of electric piano sound that Vangelis used on Blade Runner, which I think. Was it a Rhodes? I think it may have been a Rhodes. I'm not 100% sure on that, but someone can correct me. Ooh, that was a nice bit of playing. Mmm, lovely. So there's a few little uh, one of um, Pedro's favourites, Minolta. James Jifty one. Uh, so loops, loops. We've got a um, bunch of sort of noise percussion loops, essentially. Again, to bring in uh, that uh, modern but analog vibe. Okay, and pads. So a few pads, not perhaps quite as many as I often put in, but plenty, plenty. So there's, there's again, there's going to be some lush analog stuff in here.
a fun little fluttery one, that one. Play that minor chord didn't help. sounds in here that have really got that sort of analog vibe going on and that's that's certainly one of them I do rather like that one um, handful of Soundscapes may need to capture a sort of um, a low analog vibe. It's a very sort of dusty and industrial. Slightly almost uh, John Carpenter esque element to them. A nice sort of stuff to sit in the background. So atmospheric, but clearly sort of synthy in its own way. Okay, and then sequences. There's quite a few sequences, uh, more than perhaps usual. Mod wheel, obviously.
there's a few that like that one that have a, a, a somewhat um, melodic element to them. Which you can get rid of on the, the ARP section if you want to. You can always change the notes across the bottom where uh, that's irrelevant. Okay, so that's um, that's a, a little walkthrough of this, the the normal Zebra version. So 140 patches, all with that sort of modern synthy vibe going on. So let's let's switch over to the Dark Zebra HZ Zebra version and try and remember which ones we didn't play last time. Let's play something a little different. Okay, now we should be rocking. So this version, um, if you're unfamiliar with, with my work, um, then the Dark Edition includes both the Zebra HZ version and the original Zebra version. Um, and what I do is I take the original patches from the Zebra version and I kind of remix them, uh, reinvent them in, in Dark Zebra using uh, often the, the Diva filters, the analog modeling filters that have been added, and also sometimes the, uh, the, uh, the VCA compressors. Um, not always, sometimes I just take the sound and go, well, what can I do with this that's a bit different? Why can I, what different direction can I take it into that, that, that fits with a slightly more darker analog vibe, which is what you usually get in the Dark Edition, hence why it's called Dark Edition. And it is Dark Zebra after all. So, um, so it often has a crunchier sound. So if you want that sort of meteor analog vibe, then you'll get plenty of it through this. onto bass lines. Hopefully I'm not going through, I'm trying to avoid going through the same patches as before, but um, I'm an idiot, so it's, uh, it's liable to not happen. It's a strange sort of breaky up bit. That's super noisy. Okay, we got um, bass lines. Uh, bass sounds sorry. Oh no, we started on that one last time, didn't we? Haha! Nearly caught myself out there. So often the darker edition allows me to be just that little bit more experimental and strange. They lure you into my darkness. Again in the drums. And then we've got the keys, of course. So 
so I think they I was going to say I think they go away from the uh, modelling to more synthy sound but, but that one proves to be wrong there doesn't it what's the module doing this one sort of harder edge, doesn't it? Oh god, where did we start with this one? Okay, I think this one. You can sometimes get some really quite nice moogie sounds out of Zebra. Oh, hang on. Am I playing Get Carter? <laughs> Why does that come into my head? God, I'm strange sometimes. I really am. That's proper odd, isn't it? <laughs> I'm playing badly now as well. Okay, and on to the loops. If I'm sounding a little tired at this point, <laughs> and meandering and, and weird, this is about my eighth attempt at doing this one. I'm not really with it this morning. Um, pads! Woohoo! That one's got a tail and a half, isn't it? So as I was saying before, there's there is a little bit more experimentation in the dark edition, just to just to make sure it is, you know, genuinely different. I don't want people to think I've bought the same patches twice. Um, that's never my intention. That's exactly what I'm trying to avoid doing.
and so the soundscape's going to be that little bit darker. And analog. Nice little rumbly low end to that one. Quite fun. So nice and analog and moody. Okay, and then sequences again. It's it's the same thing. Lots of dynamic, expressive patches um, with a little bit more. I suppose this is almost possibly the slightly most techno-y bit of it. Really nice for um, action sequences infused with a bit of synthiness, basically. What's the modulus of this? It takes all the aggressiveness out of it. So that's obviously one of the more uh, melodic sequences. Should I play this one? Should I play this one? This is a bit silly, this one. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> that one's kind of asking about. Um, I don't know how useful that one is. Apologies. Um, yes! So there we go, one or two glitches and hitches along the way, but we got to the end at last. I don't know whether the microphone picked up my baby daughter crying in the last few minutes there, but um, that's an extra bonus if she did. It, it did. She did. It did. Oh, God. I told you I was tired. My brain has just destroyed itself today. Okay. Well, we're nearly at the end, so let's just finish. Hope you liked what you heard. Um... I think it's a really cool uh, sound set for getting a little bit more electronic. I've been focusing a bit more on organic stuff recently, particularly with Zebra, so doing something electronic again has been quite fun, uh, getting that synthiness, that analogness out of it. Um, yeah, so it's good for yeah action, dynamic. Um, you want some electronic stuff in there. You want to keep it some modern stuff alongside classic orchestration and that sort of thing. I think it's going to do you very well. Do you very well indeed. Um, so, yes, this will be on sale very shortly, um, Friday, which is, is it the 30th? Can we really be the 30th of September already? Good Lord, it's my wedding anniversary very soon, I'd better not forget about that. Um, yes, and then it's my birthday shortly after that, and then my daughter's birthday, even shorter distance out of October is a busy month, expensive and busy, so um, please buy my sound set so I can afford it all. <laughs> um, anyway. Yes, thanks again for listening, um, and hopefully you've trudged this far with me without getting too annoyed with my um, incompetence. Yes. Okay, thanks once again for listening, and speak to you again soon. Ta-ta!